Hey, this is Cameron, and welcome to the practice log. Well, it's another night session. As you can see, let's go ahead and get to it. Let's go to the chair, and let's get to it. I'll see you there. Knew it. Man, I taught a lot of lessons today, which is good. I like teaching. That's one of the things that I do, but um, taught a lot of them today. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm ready to just go ahead and get to it. We're not going to waste too much time in this chair. I know we're used to wasting time on this channel, but not today, all right? We're going to practice. Uh, I'm going to see how far I get. We'll see. I've been kind of lazy recently. You guys ever go through, like, lazy periods in practice? I could just make this a chair episode talking about how being lazy is a thing. Yeah, I get lazy sometimes. It happens in phases. It builds up where I start small, and then it just keeps growing and growing, and I try to, like, optimize my schedule. I'm not using AI though, just, uh, and I start practicing more, and then I just get used to practicing all this, and then I make the mistake of, like, looking ahead a week and seeing, like, how much stuff I have to do to get to, like, next week, and then I start freaking out, and then I just have to, like, start all over. I feel like I'm kind of doing that right now. I, like, I just have to practice less, because it's, it's too intimidating. It's intimidating staring down the barrel of, like, a, a two-hour practice session versus, like, a 45-minute one. Honestly, I feel like I get a similar amount of work done in either of those. So, you know, we'll see how long I go. Okay, I'm not gonna waste too much time. I don't want to talk too much right now. We'll talk after. I'm gonna practice and then I will talk to you. So, I'll see you in the piano bench. Hey guys, thanks for joining me tonight. I know that you're not here right now in this moment. At this moment, I am completely and utterly alone. But I know that in the future you will be there. It's kind of a somber episode so far. Am I, like, depressed right now? I don't think I am. I feel fine. It's been a lot worse than this in practice logs. I don't know. I Maybe I've just had a hard day. Sorry to bring it down. We'll see how I feel after this practicing, I guess. This might be a rough one, but it doesn't feel like a rough one. That's the weird part. All right, I'm going to practice before I keep talking. I'll see you on the other side. I don't know. Everything just seems so fleeting. Okay, remember how I said that I'm kind of getting lazy? I'm feeling a little lazy tonight, I'm gonna be honest with you. I worked on everything though, and I made progress in the second movement. I'm almost out of the hard part. I I don't know, I've just been like wigging myself out with the second movement of that. I'm gonna play the first movement for you, because it's been a little while, and I think it's improved, because remember, I made that promise I was gonna do that da-da-da, da-da-da. If you've been around for a while, you know what I'm talking about. Come on over. Back in performance mood. Uh, you know what, no glasses either. Ooh, my glasses really protect my eyes. All right, so we'll see how it goes.
that was the Morel Sonatina. Wow, it was really distracting having my hair in my face, actually. <laughs> ah, oh my god, my hair keeps stabbing me. My hair is like perfect length to stab me in the eyes. Hey, you guys want to see something weird? Check this out, y'all. I'm gonna bring you real close for this. Whoa, we're getting a little informal. This is different than usual. It used to be like this in the beginning, where I would just grab the camera and just show you stuff. Look at my forehead, but also, look at this eyebrow hair. You seeing that camera guy? Isn't that freaking crazy? Look at how long it is. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna pluck this hair and I'm gonna auction it to the highest bidder. So, go ahead and name your price, guys. I'm just kidding, I would never do that. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you right here. We're going vlog style right now. I felt okay about that. Like, I was able to perform it. I would be okay with performing that in, like, a coffee shop where no attention is being paid to me. But I wouldn't want to do that in, like, a performance setting quite yet. I think in a few more months that one will be ready to go. But I, I think it's improving. I'm definitely getting more comfortable with it. And I feel like I'm expressing myself with it more. Alright, well... I'll see you at the computer. I mean, you guys already know what time it is. We gotta watch this John Williams documentary. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm being a little obnoxious today. I don't know what the deal is. I have to be careful sometimes. I know that when I started this channel, I wanted it to be an outlet for like anything silly and stupid. And I can feel myself slipping into becoming more and more serious and like just wanting to kind of teach lessons and like, not when I react, I'm never serious when I do this, but when I do everything else, I can feel myself getting serious. I don't know. Maybe I just need to hold the camera more. Bring you close and like the good old days. Back in logs like 3 through 70 or so. Maybe it's time for a haircut. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But let's see what John Williams is up to. What were we talking about? And they're very strong element in, in Scarlett's music. Particular A minor sonata has a lot of it. So this is what uh, Anton was talking about. John Williams was kind of talking crap on guitar repertoire. John, he was pretty subtle about it. We'll see if he says more. I've never learned any Scarlatti. Maybe I should. But I mean, John Williams said previously, like, most of them suck though, right? There's only a couple of good ones. <laughs> Dude, this is sick, but like, talk. To the oh, there we go. Of odd little bit. And it wasn't simply a question of odd little bits that sound a bit, you know, imitation Spanish. He actually took in lots of the, 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 the dance rhythms, the actual tunes, popular tunes, which he incorporated into a, a sonata. It does sound very Spanish, doesn't it? Yay! Oh, nice, guys. Jeez, this is a music documentary and you're just gonna have a shift like that? electric bass I hear in the background. Is this John Williams playing or is this some like random track they found? It's a random track. John Williams didn't do that. Oh. John, what happened to you? Very often on guitar we strum. That was not an electric bass I was hearing. That was just a guitar. Uh, flamenco playing. Drum. No, not flamenco. They have a whole very highly developed system with the, with the right hand, which is not classical, but it has some things in common. They're rhythmical chords, not all. Dude, look at this square in a suit. What is this? Dude, get a silk Hawaiian shirt, bro. If you're gonna be playing flamenco on the street. One day, like in log 500, when I just keep getting more and more serious, I will wear a suit every single day. With the thumb and its nail on what we call the outstroke. The result is that you start... Alright, so this is the John Williams Flamenco lesson. How to upstroke. Highest note. Yes. You gotta start somewhere. It gives a much crisper, more rhythmical attack. So instead of going... You have... Woo! Alright, he kind of broke it out there. Alright. However, there are lots of... Should I try it on my guitar? Ah, nah, it's fine. ...between the two extremes, where you can still get some of the character of sound. And I often go, uh, when I'm in slight doubt, I go to a very old friend of mine, which is lucky for me, uh, Paco Pena, the great musician, the great flamenco guitarist. He lives down the road from me. Say, hey, you know, I'm practicing this piece again. Is this right? What I'm doing at the moment is, is severe. Uh, this is a piece by Albanius. I've played it for 30, 40 years. Uh. It's the difference between, let's say, the classical approach, which I'd learned from Segovia and everyone plays in that way, and the fact that it is a dance, the Sevi that would be he plays that nice that was a nice one but yeah we've heard him play that quite a bit a nice tuneful classical way of playing it but it is a dance i don't know you couldn't possibly dance to this could you yeah, well, which is awful yeah so uh, but the 
one of the practical problems, is asked about, and this is where I've rethinking it, coming back to what I was asking before, is getting back up to the chord here after you do. But it's very important to me in, in these occasions to try and get some of the feel of the authentic dance. So in a case like that, I will go to Paco and I say, what should I do? And he'll say, well, you want to keep the dance going like X, Y, Z. Refingering the strumming. So I'll be going something like. a hard one to dance to, I, I gotta say. A lot of classical guitarists playing Spanish music, even Spanish classical guitarists, they take a lot of liberties um, with expressing with the rhythm. Way yeah, that it, and that, like, we don't have it. <laughs> there is no rhythm. We're just loose with everything. It's sort of artificially romantic, you know, I find. But I find John particularly good at, at that, in, in at keeping the rhythm uh, alive and, and unstoppable, you know, like... It... That's kind of what everybody's been saying about John. It's like a MIDI file playing the music. It's like, yeah, the rhythm's perfect. Like, I'm huge on, like, keeping the rhythm alive. Like, I talk about that. Like, you're always playing to the pulse. That's, like, the hardest part about playing the samba though imagining people like actually dancing to it and keeping that rhythm uh it's really hard that really is how you play stuff that people think is cool though if you can make it rhythmic like i feel like the most popular youtube guitarists are like the guys who play acoustic guitar and they're like boom like those guys you know what i'm talking about there's one guy in particular who's really famous post his name in the comments if you know who i'm talking about i know this is probably a lot of people's musical journey too i don't I think I really even thought about rhythm until like college, to be honest. Like rhythm was so unimportant to me. The most important thing to me for the first like seven or eight years of my guitar playing was harmony. Like, scales and arpeggios, shredding, and I really didn't even think about rhythm until I got to college. I feel like a lot of people can relate with that though. It's so important though. Like when I'm teaching now, rhythm is like the first thing I'm always talking about. Because it's honestly more important than harmony. I heard a uh, Jacob Coyer in some interview, he said that if he had a bass player, he'd rather rather than be in time, than play the right notes. I completely agree with that. I agree with Jacob Coyer, guys. I'm just like him. No, but it is, it's very true, though. <laughs> Look at this. Just this crowd of bored. Not even a head nod. Oh my god, why? <laughs> you wasted your time, John. You could have played this stuff so loose. So I, I identify very much <laughs> with uh, his interpretation of a lot of Spanish music. I think he's... That's really funny. They're in a dungeon, too. Dude, they're in Julian Bream's house, I think. What a hilarious thing. Wow. Not so much as a foot tap from anybody in that room. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to end this one, actually. Yeah, that was fun. Is there anything I should tell you? I mean, thanks for joining me. It's been a fun one. I know I haven't been working as hard recently. I work hard still. I mean, you see me. Like, it's... I'm in the chair. I, I still did like an hour today, I think, and worked on new music. Like I made progress in Morel Movement 2. I know you didn't see it, but I did, I promise. I'm gonna have that thing down pretty soon. The next extravaganza, which, oh man, we haven't had an extravaganza in a while. We're gonna have one next week, I promise. I'll be ready for it too. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a banger. It's gonna be so good. Well, I think we can go ahead and wrap this one up. So, Let's go to the outro. Hey, well, you know, if you made it this far, be sure to subscribe and like. Okay, and, uh, oh man, I'm like out of it. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, want some guitar lessons? I do that. So check the description. I'm still available for new students, so just let me know. Yeah. Uh, have a good day. Like, uh, or night, whatever time you're watching this. Hope you're doing well. Leave a comment if you have a question about anything, or if you just want to say hi, that's fine too. Alright, well, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm actually, I'm gonna reply to comments, and then I'm gonna go to bed. So, I'll see you tomorrow.